Hello, my name's Caroline and I'm playing Kitty in the show. Kitty is the matriarch of the family and uh, she's a strong woman but she tends to suppress her emotions, to squash them down, like a lot of people do. Um, she is a, an avid knitter so I think um, she displaces her emotions sometimes by knitting, by keeping the house tidy, by trying to feed people. Um, I think she's very concerned um, about her daughters-in-law, but she herself is also dealing with the grief of losing a husband and two sons, which must be enormous. Um, but I think um, her way of coping with it is to, to suppress her emotions, but of course they bubble to the surface from time to time. Um, she's, um, she's quite a, I think she's quite a formidable character um, in her own right, um, but I think quite, hopefully quite warm-hearted as well. <laughs> right, well I'll talk to you about that character then. <laughs> um, uh, my name is Zuna McCaldy and I'm playing Sylvia. Uh, so Kitty is my mother-in-law and Alison is my sister-in-law. Uh, I'm married to Gogs, who is the older brother in the family. Um, and I used to date when I was younger Um, uh, as a character, I think Sylvia is quite complex. She's not as tough as she seems at times. I think uh, it's her way of coping. She's like a kind of, I think she's very dynamic. She's almost like a, a wee powerhouse sometimes. She comes in and fixes things and gets things done. Um, <clears throat> but at the same time, there's something very fragile uh, underneath all of that, I think. Because I think. Um, I think in the play you see three very different versions of how people cope and then they all they all interlink at points. So I think that's why it can be complex because Sylvia can appear almost like the man of the house <laughs> at times. <laughs> um, but then at other times she really, really needs to be looked after. Um, she really she really wants a family, she really wants children of her own, um, and that's not a reality. So there's a, a lot going on for Sylvia, I would say, and it's really interesting getting to understand what those layers look like. Hi, I'm Marnie Young and I'm playing Alison. Um, Alison's also a, quite a complex character, um, I'd say, but in a very different way to Sylvia. Um, she is possibly the character who we've seen the most obviously or in grief, I suppose. Um, she very much uh, wears her heart on her sleeve, but is in also in, in sort of a dream bubble most of the time. Um, I think there's the world of the play, but for Alison, there's her world, um, where she dreams of something a little bit different. Um, I also th think during the play, we see Alison in quite a different place to where she would previously be. Um, I think Alison in an earlier life was very bubbly, um, very kind of looks orientated. Um, she's the girl who would have had her hair perfectly styled and her nails done and, and always looked her best. Um, and uh, along with her husband, Jim, they were probably quite a, you know, out there couple at the pub a lot, very vivacious. Um, so we see a slightly different version of Alison in netting um, and one where the world of grief has completely consumed her in a way and she's formed a very dependent relationship on Kitty. Um, she wants to be looked after and she's, I suppose it's, she's just a bit of a lost soul in this world. She, she probably doesn't really know how to make herself something to eat. She relies on people to make her cups of tea, um, and yeah, there's there's a very um, a quiet side of Alison, I suppose as well. She's definitely more of a listener a lot of the time, but then what's interesting for me, I suppose, is what she's doing with the information that she listens to and how. Sometimes a silent one can have a bit of a bite about them. Um, so yeah, I wonder whether we see that in the play. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs>